to Boston Airport. It dragged me out to the nearest bar. And hours later we were on the run. Smells like trouble at the end of the car. Alrighty, I am bringing this SIM card that I bought in 20 what bought in 2019 which is now inactivated or at least something happened with it for a good reason so i'm trying to fix this at the oh wait i just realized this is an at&t one so maybe i should just get a new one a t-mobile it's around 1 p.m right now so i'm gonna head out and get to downtown boston first time being in Massachusetts and heading to the city, like the hustle bustle city, so I'm really excited. Conversation with a stranger. Sorry if I'm uninterested. Go. Hello everybody, I just made it back to the hotel and I wanted to do a little Walgreen haul I also just wanted to show up how cute my book bag looks Also I can tell that my brain is like not as functioning as before and I think it's because I'm jet lagged and it's 3.30pm right now here in Boston and so that means it's around 4.30 a.m. Korea time. So I think it's natural that I should be jet lagged. But we'll figure it out because it's only 3.30 and I'm moving into the dorm tomorrow and my orientation is starting the day after or even the night of. There's really not much... There's not really much inside this bag but I just have these two Aquafina water bottles that are going to keep me hydrated. I also have the tides <laughs> that I want to use tomorrow when I get to the dorm so that I could wash my bedding stuff that I ordered from Amazon. The last and only interesting thing I would say from this bag is the keto friendly chocolate brownie, blah blah blah, all that thing. We have a bag of sweet greens too. I actually went there for lunch and had a guacamole green salad, which is really nice, but it was a lot more vinegary than I thought it would be. And so I don't think I'm gonna eat it right now, but I wanted to get another worm bowl for tonight so that I don't need to go out for dinner. And I think tonight I'm just gonna edit a little and try to get not as jet lags as I can and text my new US number to some of my friends who are in the States. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the gist of the rest of the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The day two and the day I move into Tufts. It's around 7 a.m. right now and I'm so puffy. I don't know why I'm so puffy though. Anyways, I am about to eat my breakfast slash the meal that was supposed to be the dinner last night but then i slept through so i couldn't eat i'm really 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 glad that it's not raining today and actually because it rained last night i think it's a lot cooler Whoa oh my god it smells so good okay i'm gonna enjoy some of my morning time now I move into my door and I don't know if you could tell but I'm like exhausted, sweating. What I just did now is I went to the coming center which I think is like a student center at Tufts and then I checked in my um, apartment as well as for the orientation that I'm doing starting from tonight. I'm too hot right now but the reason for that was I was at here. Um, it says check in here and then I walked up the hill, but there are some stairs to it and I have, as you guys already know, these three gigantic and heavy suitcases with me. And so I just came to Hillside Apartments and I am so 
thankful and grateful that I was able to meet some of the host advisors for the pre-orientation that I'm doing and they helped me just moving these big suitcases and I feel so bad for them because they sweated with me it was almost a full-on workout I also have this program booklet for the global orientation that I'm part of so according to the booklet, I have until 4.30 to go to the opening ceremony. I have the time to unpack my stuff, also get my things from the mail service. Okay, I think I'm gonna head to the Hill Hall and get my stuff. This is a full workout session. I should probably go down to the laundry room, wash these bedding stuff so that I can put them in and then start figuring out everything else. I just realized my scissors are in one of these suitcases and so that means I'd have to open them in order to figure this out. Wish me lots of luck, guys. This is me stress laughing. Stress laughing. space to put all my stuff in. I'm impressed of how much this little rack can hold. I think because it's divided into these, it also packs really lightly. Around an hour or so has passed and I managed to... I have my bed on right here so the sound might be a little off but I managed to figure out that side of the clothing rack and put some clothes in the drawer as well. I just got the laundries from the laundry room and so I can finally do the bedding stuff this bed is like really high but it's a typical dorm room bed with a twin x large Besides the fact <laughs> that it's not actually as cute as I thought, this is how it looks at the moment. I'm going to pull up some posters and some of the plant decors that I bought from Korea over there as well. I think it's cute. It's very pastel-y, nice and neat. I'm going to do a little bit of it update with my moving in situation i think i'm like 95 percent done with moving in also i'm all here with the orientation shirt and everything i'm pairing that up with my jeans and my i don't know if i want to wear the burden stacks just because it's gonna get pretty cold at night but yeah look at the view here it's so pretty and it's uphill so like you get to see sort of a downhill situation going on i think i have around 20 minutes left before the opening ceremony for the orientation. I need some caffeine. I really do need some caffeine. I'm like mentally so excited to meet new people and like start socializing because it's the first day of orientation. So hopefully I can still pull out some of my social cells and survive tonight. Lazy Sunday morning hiding under covers i don't mind staying in with you play your favorite movie laying right beside me i don't mind when it's just us two the corner coffee shop we like to go it's 
been a while since I vlogged the last time, which was the day that I moved into the dorm. I wanted to decor. That sort of is the wall that I have over my side of the room. And so I have these little posters and posters are brought from home as well as some of these cool plant decor stuff that I brought all the way from Seoul. I actually have no idea how I'm going to style these or how I'm going to put these up because you know, it's literally like a fake plant situation. Maybe I can put them by the wall or something. But I did the little interior thingy over there. I thought that's a little cute. And we'll figure out how the rest of the thing goes. Okay, I have my Pinterest pin safe for room and spells. Essentially, this is like what I envisioned of. So I guess like realistically, I wouldn't be able to have like, I don't know if we're allowed to have like these hanging things on the wall. But if not, I was just thinking I could just put things up like this. So. I've got my head in the clouds All that I need is your body next to me On rainy days, just need your company Don't need too much, just your simple love And it's everything The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I don't need too much Just your simple life. Hello everybody I wanted to show you guys how my decor looks right now My desk is still a mess I'll figure that out. I think I just need some sort of an organizer situation going on so that I could put my stuff in But here's a postcard wall this side is a little awkward right now. It's just that I don't have enough postcards slash posters to put up. So I just decided to like keep it empty for now. And so is that side. And I pull up some September calendar as well as some of my, where are those? Like this is the little plate that I made from my summer pottery class. And my hair clothes, my perfumes, and then this little cutie decor from my room as well that will officially be my last footage for the moving vlog thank you guys so much for following along with my crazy moving journey i might have not been able to capture all the moments on camera just because it was really hectic for me to meet millions and millions of people finally be back in school in a year and a half it's been a transition but i must leave it as that i am loving it it's really fun and i'm really excited to vlog more as the time goes and hopefully the next upload will be the vlog of my first week at tufts and if you have any questions thoughts or suggestions as always feel free to leave them down in the comments or you can always send me a dm at underscore jong.minlee and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye